I just want you to know, Cap. It's in personal! <laughs> kind of feels personal. Ever since Chris Evans bid adieu to the MCU in Avengers Endgame, fans have been buzzing about his possible comeback, and guess what? There's a particular project that could make it all happen, and that project includes the Nomad. Now, make sure to stick around till then, as we discuss how Captain America could be on the moon. Loads of folks have been crossing their fingers for Chris Evans to don the Captain America suit again, and there's this one tale missing from the mix that could serve as the perfect excuse to bring him back. You see, Avengers Endgame wrapped up the journeys of some of our OG Avengers. Black Widow made the ultimate sacrifice, Iron Man went out in a blaze of glory, and Captain America took off on a time-traveling quest to return those pesky Infinity Stones. Wrapping things up nicely, Chris Evans decided to hang up the shield post-Endgame. But ever since then, Fans have been clamoring for his grand return to the MCU. Chris Evans first suited up as Steve Rogers back in 2011's Captain America The First Avenger, becoming a key player in the MCU lineup. Along the way, he faced off against the likes of the Red Skull and Thanos, and even duked it out with his own teammates in Captain America Civil War, a clash that left him, Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff, and Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson labeled as fugitives. They made a comeback in Avengers Infinity War after a couple of years' hiatus from the MCU, but there are still a lot of untold tales from their time off the grid. There's this big theory floating around about what another Steve Rogers movie could entail, mainly focusing on how he returned those pesky Infinity Stones after Avengers Endgame. But hold on to your hats, because there's a better story waiting to be told. The time between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, when Steve Rogers, aka Nomad, was off the radar. Now that's the stuff dreams are made of. Forget all the cosmic hoopla of returning the Infinity Stones. This would be a down-to-earth dive into Steve Rogers' character, giving Chris Evans a chance to flex his acting muscles in a quieter, more nuanced MCU tale. In Marvel Comics' 1974 tale Captain America No. 180, Steve Rogers took on the Nomad alias after feeling disenchanted with the U.S. government and leaving behind his Captain America mantle. As Nomad, he wandered as a man without a country for just four issues before reclaiming his Captain America identity. However, in the MCU, Rogers was on the run for a solid two years. While the Avengers Infinity War Prelude comics touched on part of this narrative, showing Rogers, Romanoff, and Wilson tackling a terrorist outfit smuggling Chitauri gear into the U.S. It's hard to believe that was the whole story of Steve Rogers' Nomad days. Marvel Studios has already shown that exploring a hero's past can be a winning formula with 2021's Black Widow. Set between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, it gave us a deeper look into Natasha Romanoff's world. Despite her tragic fate, Scarlett Johansson graced the screen one last time to bring us Black Widow. The Phase 4 flick wasn't just action-packed, it was a character study that peeled back the layers of Romanoff's story while dropping some major revelations about her history. With that in mind, there's no reason why a similar treatment couldn't work wonders for Steve Rogers as Nomad. While Black Widow might not have soared as high as Marvel Studios hoped, it still signaled a significant shift in how MCU tales unfold. Let's face it, every big-name hero has some untold stories lurking in their past, so why not fill in those gaps with more retrospective adventures? A Nomad project, shining the spotlight on Steve Rogers before his comeback in Avengers Infinity War, could be just the ticket. Picture it, a gritty down-to-earth tale that's right up Chris Evans' alley, especially considering Captain America's solo adventures always had that touch of realism. It's the kind of story that could reel him back into the MCU fold. Bringing back Chris Evans as Captain America could stir up some mixed feelings, especially considering Sam Wilson's epic journey to become the new Cap. At the end of Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers handed over the shield and the title to Sam, marking a pivotal moment in the MCU. Sam's evolution from Falcon to Captain America was beautifully portrayed in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and his acceptance of the mantle was a real tearjerker. It's crucial not to overshadow his growth by focusing solely on Steve's return. 
Sam Wilson is just stepping into the big shoes of Captain America, set to strut his stuff in Phase 5's Captain America New World Order. But with the shadow of Steve Rogers looming large, it could throw a wrench into his journey. That's why some folks reckon it might be best for Marvel Studios to hold off on bringing Chris Evans back as Cap for now. Instead, diving into a Nomad project could be a win-win. It'd give us an emotional roller coaster of a Steve Rogers tale without muddying the waters of his legacy as Captain America. That way, Sam can rock the shield without any distractions, fully embracing his new role. Okay, now buckle up, because here's a wild one, the Captain America Moon Theory. Remember in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier when Joaquin Torres tossed out the idea that Steve Rogers might be chilling on the moon? Yeah, it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi flick, but stick with me. The theory suggests that Cap could be on some top-secret moon mission. And hey, before you laugh it off, consider this. The MCU has already shown us that there's life beyond Earth, and in Marvel Comics, the Inhumans kick it on the moon in a fancy city called Atalan. So who knows? Maybe Steve stumbled upon the MCU's version of the Inhumans and is lending a hand from their lunar pad. Marvel Studios' What If gave us a unique spin on Steve Rogers' legacy in Season 1, Episode 1, What If Captain Carter Was the First Avenger. In this alternate reality, Peggy Carter takes on the Super Soldier Serum, but Steve still gets his shot at heroism with a Tesseract-powered suit known as the Hydra Stomper, courtesy of Howard Stark. This episode demonstrates that Steve's heroism isn't just about superpowers, it's about his courage, determination, and unwavering spirit. Even without the serum, he finds a way to make a difference, showcasing why he is the perfect choice to become Captain America. Steve's legacy in the MCU continues to shine through, proving that true heroism isn't limited to one person or one timeline. Now, besides all of this, I know you might be wondering, how old is Captain America at the end of Endgame? Well, I was curious too, so I did the calculation. Steve Rogers was indeed born on July 4, 1918, and Avengers Endgame mainly unfolds in late 2023 after that big five-year leap. Crunching the numbers, that puts Cap at a staggering 105 years old. But hold on to your hats, because there's more to it. After returning the Infinity Stones, Cap decided to kick back and enjoy a little time travel to live out his days with Peggy Carter. The Russo brothers spilled the beans, revealing that Steve hopped back to the 1940s. So, when all said and done, he's pushing a cool 180 years old by the end of Avengers Endgame. Now that's what I call living your best life. Well, that's it for today. What do you think about the idea of exploring Steve's untold adventures as the Nomad? Do you believe the Captain America moon theory has any truth to it? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting updates from the world of Marvel. And remember to hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest content. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.